Welcome to Overthinking Tech, where I overthink tech. Today I wanted to talk about this cool little program on the Steam store called Lossless Scaling. Now, on its own, this was a pretty neat program that let you scale up old games. But the creator of this program has implemented FSR, which is probably why you clicked on this video. And what this lets us do is it actually lets us apply FSR to any program or game that we want to upscale. Now, this will cost you $5, but it's probably worth it. So for today, I wanted to take a look at Cyberpunk. Now, I've got this set full screen on my 1440p monitor. Graphics are all completely maxed out. Uh, past Ultra on Psycho, including ray tracing on Psycho. Now, I am on a 3070Ti. I've gone ahead and disabled DLSS. I'm just using this game as an example. I've also gone ahead and disabled all of these guys right here. Uh, film grain, depth of field, lens flare. These are all post-processing effects. And in the actual uh, implementation of FSR that game devs would do, they're supposed to put it before post-processing effects in the game pipeline. We don't have the option to do that today, so we're just going to have to live without these. But Motion Blur should have never been enabled to begin with. Now, if we go back to the game, ooh, that quickly becomes very jittery. Uh, I'm doing 7 FPS. Oh, no, 13, 14. Okay, not exactly playable at these settings. Now, I could enable DLSS, but let's pretend I don't have that for a second. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, and I'm going to change my resolution. So I'm going to set this all the way down to, let's go 1600 by 900. Now, we can see that I just have this in a window. And if I open lossless scaling, I have the scale factor set to auto, FSR, sharpness 1, which is the default, and capture as auto. Uh, the scale hotkey I've left as Control alt s again, default, but you can set this to any hotkey you want. And if I come back here and I hit Control alt s it'll immediately scale this up to fit my monitor resolution. So I'm at 1440p, but those game settings are still at 1600 by 900. Jumping back into gameplay, immediately better. Uh, I'm at just over 30 FPS at the moment. When I wasn't recording with OBS, since I am using my GPU for transcoding there, I was seeing closer to 50 FPS with this configuration. But regardless, we've gotten com from completely unplayable to playable. Now, we could just let the monitor scale it up. We could set 720p full screen. But generally, if you do scaling, on your monitor, text becomes particularly difficult to read. It's especially apparent in the UI. This looks almost identical to what it looked like when I was natively rendering at 1440p, and all of these posters are perfectly readable, even while moving. We can check settings and see that I still have everything absolutely pegged at maximum, and we can apply this to any game we want. Just remember to disable those post-processing effects, otherwise things start looking uh, a little bit noisy. Um, but I hope this helps some of you, especially with the GPU shortage. It's a really cool tool for $5. It's also great for old games.